So, for today's video, I thought it would be kind of fun to take you guys on a trip to Target in LA because Pittsburgh Targets and LA Targets are very vastly different. They're vastly different. For all my Midwestern mamas out there, I thought it would be kind of fun to show you what it's like to try to run to Target in LA because there's no running to Target here. It's like a full on process. Pro tip, if you're ever in Los Angeles, do not mess with the parking situation because they will get you, they will find you, they will boot you and those tickets are like, I wanna say $75 for a parking ticket even if you're only like 32 milliseconds late on the meter. So it's super fun, awesome, love it. Let's head to Target, shall we? All right, the first thing you're gonna notice is that there's Target and there's a big P for parking. Like, you don't just go into a parking lot. Crazy, right? Vastly different type of experience than I have in Pittsburgh. Please note that parking for Target in this area is on the third floor, so we have to keep going and going and going. There is a big umbrella stand all situated because it rained this morning in LA and everybody loses their mind when it rains here. So. Look, we don't often have sunlight pouring in in my little Pittsburgh Target, so I appreciate that. Alright, we're entering the grocery section. One thing I can tell you that's totally different here than most places that I'm used to shopping is the wine selection as well as all of the alcohol because in Pennsylvania you cannot sell alcohol in a store like this so it's wild to me that you can buy rosé in the middle of a Target. Okay, let's look around. Magnolia stuff. Oh, there's me. Hi, What am I wearing today? basic. Oh, Aladdin's coming out, so I'll have a bunch of Aladdin clothes. See? My family is heading to the beach next weekend because it's Chloe's 18th birthday and we're going to Grand Cayman, which you can't wait for. So let's see if there's anything here that like pops out that we might love for the beach. That is a big beach bag, but you know what? It actually might be good because I feel like my beach bags are always so small for towels. That one would hold some towels. Oh, I love this one. That's big too for towels. Sun hats are like such a rage right now. I feel like everybody's rocking the sun hats, which I'm guilty of as well. I love a sun hat, but to be honest, I've always worn a hat just on TV because it was like not of that time. My little Clara loves sunglasses. Like, love So I always look for sunglasses for her. These ones are sweet. She probably like those. I like those. She's not old enough for like expensive sunglasses yet because she will break them or lose them. You know, I need a high-waisted bikini bottom because I had two kids. And the selection here is just subpar. They have lots of black. I need a pair of white. I've been looking for white forever and I cannot find them. Like, all these little itty bitty ones are fine for Chloe, but not for her mother. So I just tried on a few hats and I have a weird head. I'm sure of it. Oh, lots of fun little summer pairs. Cute, it would pop up my outfit. Look, this little cute bag I have. It's actually, let me show you. Found it. I like, I like the wicker. These are some of my favorite spring and summer earrings. Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. I'm sure you guys know Bobble Bar, but I love that you can just grab a bunch here. I have a ton of those. 
and I found some cute scrunchies. Scrunchies? Yeah, scrunchies for my girls. They'll like these for Memorial Day coming up, so. Okay, let's try on some more hats. I look like the scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. I'm gonna say that's a hard no. I'm sorry to report that I looked wildly idiotic in those hats. I don't know. Sometimes hats just, maybe I don't have a hat head. Maybe it's the nose. Maybe the nose throws off the balance of the hats. Oh, these are cute. I'm a little bit obsessed with white shirts right now that tie, clearly. So this is sweet for her. Cute. Claire gets mad at me. She says I try to dress her like a baby, which is probably accurate. I do. But yeah, she gets really mad. because She's like, I'm not a baby. I want ah! cute clothes. I don't want to wear baby clothes and I'm still trying to buy her like dresses. When did she get big? Actually, let's pop over. Ooh, I love these little red shorts for her. These aren't baby. Let's see, she is a 10. Oh, those look ginormous for Clara. Maybe I can make her wear an eight. Oh, I love these. She'll hate those. See, that's my rule now. Whatever I love, she'll hate. Ew, mama has an idea. Maybe I'll get her that little denim shirt to wear with these red shorts. Did you see my eyes wandering about wildly? They're like, what can I look at? What can I look at? What can I buy? What can I buy? Ew, that's kind of fun. I'll just buy the shorts and figure it out. There's a lady looking at me. Of it. Why so judgy? Oh, I crashed. Yeah, that's the other thing. These aisles are not very wide or wide. Back over to the accessories. Wait, this is funny. We should buy this tip for Mark because he gets mad at us about uh, Barnaby. Lots of wellness. You're in Los Angeles after all. Home of the fittest people in the world. Wait, these are cute. Let's stay in. Let's go out. Pittsburgh is cold. LA is warm. I do know that I don't have these in Pittsburgh. All of the religious candles, so to speak. I don't know if that's more of a cultural thing. I'm assuming so, but I try to tread really lightly on anything that could even be remotely considered, I don't know, offensive or questionable or insensitive, so to speak. So I'm assuming that's a cultural difference, but if it's not, please let me know in the comments. Beer. Oh, wait, that's really sweet. If my girls were little, I would so have them in one of those. Oh, I love that. Oh, and little flingos. Flingos. Clara used to call them swingos. I feel like all of this is pretty standard, for sure. Oh, that's not standard. You know what I feel like this Target is missing that I feel like is a big part of my Target? Is the, like, seasonal section, like Easter and I know they have one, but it's small. My favorite rosé. I know that they carry it here. <gasps> oh, here it is. The Palm by Whispering Angel. I know everyone is so on the Whispering Angel bandwagon, but I actually prefer The Palm over regular Whispering Angel. So that's a pro tip. Let's see what else. Because Trixie, I believe, is visiting us this afternoon, which means Yes Way Rosé. This is not a lie. I had this exact outfit when I was about four. 
put the sew on. This is very much what I wore in the 70s. I didn't end up with a lot. My selects are pretty skimpy, but to be fair, I don't have a lot of room in my suitcase to get home to Pittsburgh because I have to go to Orlando this weekend. So what did I buy? I'll show you. I got Chloe the 70s outfit. Oh. A couple of bottles of wine for entertaining tonight. And my scrunchies. So that's it for this trip. So we're gonna check out and then try to get out of the parking garage. Okay, so I had to have my ticket, my parking validated. And you also have to buy your bag. You don't just get bags, you have to tell them you want them or you have to pay for them. I'm assuming that is an environmental thing because a lot of people bring their own bags, so I did not. It's a little windy, so I bought a bag, which I will save and recycle, and I had to have my parking validated. So, that's my LA shopping experience at Target. Uh, didn't buy much because I have to get it all home in my suitcase, and we are stopping in Orlando first, so I didn't have a ton of room. Um, but we will compare it to my local Pittsburgh Target, which is right near Mars. Again, I live in a town called Mars. Um, but yeah, it just feels different. It has a different feel about it. I don't know. I don't, I mean, I know lots of people have urban targets like in the city centers, but, um, we don't in Pittsburgh, like ours are usual. I actually, that's not true. I think we have one. Ours are like the basic suburban. So I thought it was kind of fun to do something show you guys the difference because the first time I had to go to a Target it was like such a wild thing for me. So I will catch you in Pittsburgh. Hot two. We are in Pittsburgh and I am at Target and I'm going to take you guys in this Target and we are going to see how different it is from my LA Target. Are you ready to go? It's chilly here in Pittsburgh today even though it's um, late spring. Well I guess it's mid spring. All right look I have my tiny little purse. Isn't that cute? Oh god. I, I really have to watch how many times I say cute because I realized last time I was here that I'm cute addicted and I say cute a lot and let's see, is this guy looking at me? Do you think he's judging? He could be. I don't really need much. Although we're going to the beach. We're heading to the beach um, for Chloe's birthday so I feel like I always need to grab sunscreen because Claire is so fair. And I've paid a lot of money for all of my skin lasers so there's no way I am exposing my skin to the sun. Judgy. Judgy, judgy. Here, I'm gonna go in the out. <gasps> Living on the edge is the dollar section. This section always gets me in trouble, right? Like, I could do a lot of this for my pool because, I mean, clearly I need a aqua wooden fish for my pool. My pool house is happening over here. Oh, Clara would love these. Shall I buy those for Miss Clara? Oh no, she might like the flingos or the octopi. These are so fun. Wait, I had this as a child. It's Road Trip Bingo. I'm gonna get this for my kids. They will love it. Although we don't go anywhere that far on the road. I'm gonna get it. I'm getting Road Trip Bingo. We probably will never use it. But I bought it, because that's fun. See? What did I say? Dollar section equals trouble. I always get in so much trouble in that damn dollar section. And by the way, nothing's a dollar in there. I like these little swim summer, these little bags. So does pink and red, so we'll get her that one. Great. Off we go. See, that's one area that I feel that LA was lacking. I feel like they didn't have a really strong dollar section. So there's a, there's a, um, there's a difference. <gasps> I was gonna show you guys my nails. See them? My nails were here. Cute. 
didn't get mine here. I got mine done at the Olive in June in Los Angeles, like the real one, because that's how I roll. So the other thing that I feel like is totally different in my my Pittsburgh Target, my, my Midwestern Target, is the seasonal section where we're heading. Oh look. It's s'more season, which is Chloe's favorite season, so. Boy, oh boy. Oh gosh, she'll be so excited. Chloe loves nothing more than a s'more. See, we weren't getting the same selection in Los Angeles. Maybe we weren't getting it because it's always warm in LA, and so they don't have a need for like a seasonal section like that. I mean, I'm sure for Christmas they do, right? Like the holidays, but you're not getting the same the same choices and I like choices even though choices tend to paralyze me paralyzed by choices <gasps> look it's the Goonies so I was just at an event this weekend and three of the Goonies were there and I was like a weird nerd about it but I didn't talk to them so it wasn't that weird it would have been weirder if I would have talked to them or it would have been weirder if I would have taken secret pictures of Jason Patrick in the green room, which I did. Sorry. Quick peruse past the jewelry to see if they have any new cute earrings for the beach or a bag. And then I did find Clara. Look, this is like a cute little... Sorry, I didn't show that properly. That's like a cute little dress for her in the morning. Like if we're having... Um, breakfast and she just needs to throw on like a soft dress at the beach. So two little bags, two, which actually when I went to my LA Target, I only had one bag. Let me cross the street so I don't get run over. I do believe that counts as a shopping miracle, right? Because twice, two times, the last two times I went into Target, I spent less than $50, which, ladies, you know, is not the, the norm. That doesn't typically happen, so that's a win. I tempted fate, and I came out ahead. Oh my God. So thanks for shopping with me. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week. Bye-bye.